Hey guys, this is Mahmood and welcome back to my another YouTube video tutorial. Today I will show how to use Flutter framework and Dart programming language to create a Hello World application. Flutter is a framework developed by Google to make it easy to create cross-platform mobile application for iOS and Android devices. Although Flutter now supports to develop desktop application and some kind of web application but our main focus is to use it to create cross-platform mobile apps. So today is the first lesson I will show that how to uh, install Flutter and how to create a Hello World application. In the following tutorials I will discuss more about Flutter. So let's start. So in our system, we have to install both Flutter framework, Dart programming language and Android Studio. You can use uh, Flutter in Visual Studio Code Editor as well, but I prefer Android Studio. To download Flutter, please visit https flutter.dev and here you go to the get started page. And there you can see that there is three options, Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So as I am using Mac, so I choose this option and here I follow this thing to install Flutter in my Mac. If you are using Windows, just follow what they said in the Windows section. And also uh, you have to install Dart programming language in your system. So just follow this dart.dev slash get hyphen dart page. And here you can also see similarly Windows, Linux and Mac and just follow the instruction to install. And then uh, to download and install android studio please visit developer.android.com and slash studio then here you can download android studio and install in your system this is basically very basic task so i did not show how to do it you can just follow the instruction and install all the things in your machine so i hope you install everything successfully in your machine so let's create a flutter application so after opening the android studio you will see this option that is start a new flutter project so please click this thing and then select flutter application then click next and give a name of this application so i am putting hello world and then you have to select the sdk path so i shown here that where this sdk in my system if in your system if you are suppose using windows then just click this dot 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 button and select that flutter sdk then you have to select a project location in my case i am uh, using my demo in desktop directory and then you have to put some description then click next and here you have to define a domain name if you have you if you do not have any website just put your name that it will work as well and then just click finish so it will uh, generate some code in the system So after the coding generation is complete, you will see this window that the application name is here, hello world. And then you will see that uh, some directories, one is iOS for iOS specific things resides in here. Another one is the Android directory. So basically in most cases, we do not need to access those directory but sometimes we need to use those directory to update some files, but it's very rare anyway so this is the first thing you will see in this code so let's run this thing so i just use here the simulator in my mac i have installed xcode and iphone simulator so i can use iphone simulator to test if you are using windows you cannot use this iphone thing because xcode and iphone simulator will work only in the mac system so in that case you have to create android emulator and you have to use that android emulator to test your application and normally in most cases when you are developing application for production not for learning just for production i prefer to use real devices so using the usb uh, cable you can deploy and test your application in your android devices or in iphone device so anyway so here i select the iphone x and here is the program name main dot that is the main program file or entry point and i click play so it will uh, run this thing in my iPhone simulator so let's wait for some minute 
so the app is opening so here is the demo thing is open in the iphone simulator this is basically the demo world demo application by Flutter team and if you just click this plus icon you can see this number is changing so i will remove this code everything from here and i will start from scratch to create a basic hello world application in flutter application main.dart is the main file or the entry source code which uh, flutter application when run it will look for that and in the main.dart we are importing a material library so to do that you have to just write import and within single code you have to write package colon flutter forward slash material dot dart this is a predefined user interface library to create cross-platform mobile application and after that you have to put a semicolon in that programming language we have to use semicolon to close our statement then we have to write the main function so basically main function is the entry point for a dart program or in flutter application and this void means this function returns nothing here we will use another built-in function run app and where we will uh, write the app widget so basically in flutter everything is widget every user interface is widget and this concept basically uh, borrowed from the react js front-end javascript library where everything is component so anyway in the run app we will uh, initiate a object that is material app so in material app we want to provide a named parameter that is home so if you use python or some other programming language like swift there is a two type of parameter one is positional another one is named so dart programming language support both it you can use the positional argument as well as the named argument so here we are using the name parameter home and here we will uh, initiate an object of scaffold class In Dart programming language, when you want to initiate an object of a class, you just have to uh, use the class name and the parentheses. You do not need to use any new keyword. So here we are going to use the scaffold uh, object and in the scaffold there is some name parameter. For example, one is app bar. So here we want to create an another app bar object. And within app bar there is a title. So we want to, uh, to use the title, you have to use the text class object so here i just want to put hello world and after app bar there is another name parameter is scaffold that is uh, body so within body we want to uh, put a widget so everything you have to remember this thing that everything is widget in flutter so in body we want to create a center i mean the within the user interface we want to put a center object so we type here center and then here the uh, parenthesis and here we want to put a child okay so we want to write child i'll also we can type another another we can write another text here just a child nothing else and let's reformat the code so that it looks better save this thing and let's run this program so the program is run and you see that here it is showing hello world in the navigation bar this navigation bar basically this is the app bar within the scaffold if i did not use this scaffold widget we do not see this beautiful interface as we are using this scaffold widget we can configure the widget and create a beautiful user interface and in the body section you see that i put a center widget and within center and within center there is a child parameter name parameter there i put a text text child so here it is showing child in the center of this uh, body and suppose i want to change the navigation color app bar color so what i have to do i have to type that uh, background color so this is basically another uh, name parameter in this app bar class 
and if you look it carefully it looks something similar to the css right in css there is also background color property so that is using in here the similar concept not actual css and here if i want to change the color of this background color so suppose i want to use uh, to use the color i have to type colors so this is a predefined class if i put dot i can see some colors for example i want to use blue uh, gray and you see here it is showing nicely in here and there is also some uh, uh, parameter value like uh, if the color after using the color if you want to change the shade you can use some uh, value within the square bucket so suppose i want to use blue gray 900 and if i just type ctrl s to save this thing and basically it will reload here uh, as i am using this thing in the main function that's why it is not reloading automatically but in our later videos when i will uh, move this thing outside of this uh, main function then you can see this hot reloading basically flutter supports hot reloading so i just change thing and we can see the output directly in the simulator or emulator so to hot reload i just click here and you see it will be updated in here so in this scenario hot reloading is not working because i am using this material app thing within the uh, run app and in the main function and basically i have to move this thing outside of a class so i will show it in the next video so what i uh, what i have to do i just uh, close the app and rerun then i can see the output in the simulator now you see this uh, navigation bar background color is changed so now what we want to do we want to put an image in here in instead of this child so let's uh, visit the website and here i will visit a website pixels and in the free stock photos i will type world and here there are many world images so i will use this image and then i want to download this thing and it is downloaded in my uh, directory so i will go that directory and here you see there is a image downloaded so i change uh, rename it to just world and i want to resize this image uh, tools adjust size basically this is a mac program if you are using windows you do not see this program in your machine so i am just resizing this image to 640 to 640 and i've saved this image so now i want to use this image in my uh, dart app, uh, uh, flutter application right so there are different way to use image so one way is if you are using image in your domain or website you can also use that so here to use a image from network we have to use uh, child in child we have to use the image class or image widget and here in the image widget uh, there is a name parameter image and here we can use a network image so network image i have to provide a, the url so if i visit this thing and if i click uh, open image in new tab i can see the location of this image right so i copy this url and use in my dart application or flutter application so here i have put this uh, url thing in the network image i save this program and rerun and you see that image is showing in here in the middle of this child section so within the body body is the scaffold name parameter that defines the body of a user interface and here we use the center widget that means we want to put something in the center and then there is another child that means the the center this widget supports a child name parameter there we are using the image widget and in the image widget we are using the network image this class object to uh, show an image from the internet suppose you do not want to use the image from network or website you want to use from the flutter application from the local disk then how you can do it 
so in this case what you have to do you have to create a directory in here in the hello world application directory i am creating a directory named image images and here i will move this world.jpg image in the images directory and then you have to open the pubspec.yaml file so here is the pubspec.yaml file this is basically kind of configuration file and this yml thing is very sensitive to the indentation so if there is a indentation error then this thing will not work so we want to use the image from our asset directory so this images directory is an asset directory for the application so we have to define that thing in the pubspec.yml file and if you open this file you will see that here it is shown that how to include asset or image in your from your application uh, to use so here i just have to remove this comment thing So here assets and within asset directory I can just put the name here uh, our image name is uh, world world.jpg so I just save this thing and click the package.get so if you click this package.get it will basically uh, include this thing in the application so in the main dot dart file now instead of network image if i type uh, asset image and i put the asset name you have to type images and world dot jpg with full extension so i save this uh, code and it is showing an uh, error so i think i missed a bracket yes so i save this thing and rerun this program again and now you see this image is loaded from the our asset directory so suppose you want to use uh, another image then what you do you have to uh, move that image that in, in this images directory and also you have to define that thing in here right like if you want to suppose want to use another image name uh, that is suppose world 2 you have to write this thing so this is a pain of s right for every image you have to write every image name here so instead of that you just remove this image name just use this images and forward slash thing in that case whatever image you put it here it will automatically work so here it if i run this program again you see there is no problem it will run again without any issue so this is enough for today and in the next video we will learn some more basic and fundamental thing and we will also learn some dart programming language and after some uh, basic tutorial we will create some uh, more user interface to create uh, some better flutter application so stay tuned and have a nice day goodbye